Do you ever doubt yourself, your art or your abilities? Just the other day, a good pal of mine shared her drawing with me and said, I hate my art. It sucks balls. Then I go, okay, dang, you've got a point. But no matter how I see it, it's pretty good. So what sucks about this again? And she goes, I hate you. Guys, you gotta remember that everyone sees and perceives things differently and personal tastes vary. To be in the art world, you need to develop a thicker skin against the opinion of others. I, for one, have long hair. And over the years, people have said to me, You know you look like a girl, right? Wh- how? Oh, I get it. My long hair? But hey, I have a dick. I love my hair, and I've never been afraid to don it in public regardless of what some people may think. Just like what I do, it's my work of art and my signature style. Some artists doubt themselves because they love to compare their art to some others that are established on social media that may have a similar style with more views or likes, but fail to realize that each drawing and artist are unique. When I began to draw turtles, there were no books or internet to show me how exactly I should draw them lifelike. So the only tools, real tools around me, were a calendar with picture of turtles, some post-it notes, and my pencil and eraser. It was on me to figure out how to draw those darn things. And yes, my turtle drawings suck too. But Wang, those artists are so dang talented. It's like magic. My guy, stop comparing yourself to them. Those artsy fartsy talented mofos you see online, they weren't always like that. They've put in so many hours of work into their drawing that they became good at it. And that's the only magic they did. They drew, drew, and drew until they were sick of it, left it in the corner for a time, and they got back to it because they loved drawing. And for every one person that says this artist is some untouchable god of drawing, there's another person on the other side thinking that this art stinks. That's why it's called artsy fartsy. You see where I'm coming from? Art is often subjective. I know there are some really creative and blessed artists out there, but you might be forgetting one simple thing. People may not know the real story just by looking at your art. Because what is in your head and what's on paper are two very different things. You know the story in your head way better than the viewer. You can see and smell and taste it. But you have to draw something to convey what's in your head and when you compare the final product to the vision, it just sucks. And it's not just art I'm talking about. I know musicians, sculptors, and writers who are all the same way. I envision X, I created Y. Y is inferior to X, I am a failure. The catch is that your audience doesn't see that vision. Your audience doesn't have an X in their head. They have Z, which range from utterly nothing to some abstract form of whatever they want to see. Worst thing, everyone's Z is different and it's impossible to cater for them all. You hit some people's Z and they love it. You hit close to it and they like it. You don't hit their Z at all and they hate it. This is the reality of being an artist. Not everyone will like your Y. Okay, that's a lot of XYZs to complain about. But don't feel bad about failing to convey your vision perfectly. No one can. There's a reason why people say pictures are worth a thousand words. Be content that you have told the best story you can and then move on. So the next time you've got that feeling of insecurity about your art, here's what you're gonna do. You need the insecurity. Stop trying to get rid of it. Bad idea. You've probably got this notion that you should be confident and free from all the self-doubt and so forth. That, my friend, is about survival of the ego. It's not about art. You think that your mind should be free of internal voices and criticism, but that's wrong. You should be relating to those voices as creative resources. You think you're the first person to be insecure? No, that's part of the human experience. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry in the art world is insecure. And you think you're the first person to lose motivation or think I'm an amateur? No, of course not. Everyone is stupid in their own ways. Instead of trying to be someone else, just be yourself and start relating to everything as possible tools and reference for creative action. That includes your insecurities and doubts and they are perfectly valid sources of inspiration. I hope this video has helped you be more confident and less insecure about your art and I'll see you in the next one.